Now let's get rid of all this stuff that we have here just to make some room for what we're about to do. So what we want is setting the cursor position, initializing our IDT, and then setting up our keyboard handler. So now back in memory map.cpp, we want to print our memory map just to see how everything's laid out. So void print memory map, memory map entry, pointer memory map. And we also want the position of where to print the memory map to. So we'll just do a unsigned int of size 16 position. Right now, we want to set cursor position. And in order to do that, we need to include textprint.cpp. So now we set cursor position, position. Now we can print string memory base and then after that we can print string integer to string memory map base address. Then we set cursor position, position plus 80 which will go to the next line and then we can print the region length and then just like before we plus 160 to go to the next line print string memory type And then we can print string again, integer to string, memory map, region type. And then just like before, we had another 80 on top. And now we can do memory attributes. And we'll print this one as a hex. There we go. Now we'll be able to print a memory map entry to our screen. So now back in kernel.cpp, we can do this for uint 8 i for index equals 0, i less than memory region count, i plus plus, memory map entry, pointer mem map equals memory map entry pointer 0x 5000 zero, 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 and then mem map plus equals i print memory map mem map and then the position will be just a cursor position now after we're done we'll just uh, go to the next line again so 320 and now we'll see what we get Right, so as you can see, we are now viewing all of our memory addresses. Actually, this is a bit hard to see, so I'll just add a little bit more space. So 400 will do. Here we go. So what we have here is all of our memory map entries. So starting at zero, we have our first memory map, and that goes for 651,000 bytes. It's memory type 1. Here on the Yostev wiki we have all of the region types and what they mean. So type 1 is our usable normal RAM. Now this is the one that we'll be using in our operating system and we sort of don't really want to touch the rest of this stuff unless we know what we're doing. So like ACPI reclaimable memory, we can eventually use that memory if we want to, but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to leave it alone. Alright, so now that we have our memory map entries, we can sort through them and see which ones we were actually able to use. So to do that, we need to store them somewhere. So we'll make an array of memory map entry pointers, usable memory regions, and we'll just make it an array size of 10. That should be enough for now. If it's not, we can easily increase it. All right, so now let's make a function. This function is going to return our array. So we need a memory map entry pointer pointer 
because we're getting a pointer to the array of pointers. Get usable memory regions. And this is going to return usable memory regions. Just so that we can keep using this function wherever we need it, we can create a bool memory regions got equals false. And here we can do memory regions got equals true. And also if memory regions got, we can just return this straight away. So if we, we already have calculated it, we return that. If not, set it to true and also calculate it. So for uint i equals zero, i less than memory region count, i plus plus. And we also need a uint eight usable region index. So we need to get the memory map. So memory map entry, mem map equals memory map entry pointer 0x5000 zero 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 zero. mem map plus equal i if mem map dot region type equals one usable memory regions usable region index equals mem map and then we can increment usable reason index. And that should return all of our usable memory regions. Now back in our kernel, instead of printing all of these, we can do this. So get usable memory regions and we can do memory map entry pointer pointer equals that uh, usable memory maps. Now before we do that, we need to actually write the amount of usable memory regions we calculated. So uint 8 usable memory regions count. And we can increment this as well. Actually, at the end of the function, we can just do usable memory region count equals usable region index. Right, so back at kernel.cpp, i less than usable memory region count, memory map equals usable memory maps i, and then print memory. Right, let's see if that worked. So now, as you can see, we're only printing our usable memory regions. Just to verify that we haven't missed any, I'll undo this just to print what we used to have. And here we go, so we're printing this one here and this one here. And that's what we need. So now that we've extracted our usable memory regions from our memory map, we'll be able to use those when we're making our dynamic memory handler and our heap and anything else that we need that requires memory. That'll be it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.